slight height and reach advantage. We are all set. Zakaria in the blue corner. Mohsin Mohamed Saefi in the red. Scheduled for three five minute rounds. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Phil Campbell and Kirik Janess calling the action. Looked like a little bit of a clash of heads there right from the get go. And big winging shots being thrown here by Mohamed Saifi. El Bichi Zakaria will want to close that distance, take that world-class striking away. Nice movement, though, there from Mohsin. Mohamed Sahifi is showing some outstanding uh, takedown defense right now, gentlemen, and I don't think that Zakaria had anticipated that coming into the fight. Absolutely. Oh, oh he got caught in the hand. Boom! Oh, Referee's tight on him. Oh, he landed another big shot. That's oh, it. Oh, Bichi looking to survive. And That's he's oh, out. He is out. Dickie Larkin with the stoppage. Mohamed Saifi with the first win in his mixed martial arts debut. That is absolutely huge. That is why they call him the golden boy. That, the anticipation of this debut. When you talk about that takedown defense, it was his angles, his movements. But then when he connected with those right hands, Bitching did so well to survive for that long, but it was only a matter of time. Fantastic stuff from Mosey. He always had a strike loaded on the break from the clinches, from those engagements. Always had something to put right in the face. And that's a huge shot coming right over the top. And from there, it was pretty much rudimentary for referee Deggy Larkin to stop the fight. Big respect to Beachy. He fought the game he could. He tried to stay in the inside. The problem when you fight a Sanda fighter is there is no outside. It's a unique style of striking. They can kick from halfway, three quarters of the way across the cage. There is nothing to do but engage. Beachy engaged, and unfortunately, he got shot, got caught. Oh, and that head movement as well from Osita. Find the angle, come over the top with the right hand, and look at this, the left connects. Deki Larkin steps in. Wow, what a start to Brave 48. My goodness, the golden boy with a highlight reel finish in his first professional MMA fight. And he was just watching the replay there, taking it all in, admiring his handiwork. And Brian, you would do exactly the same, wouldn't you? <laughs> I would be watching that on repeat again and again and again. Fantastic stuff from the Iranian fighter. Ichi Sakaria caught some good shots, but he is up and standing. He's completely lucid, no damage done. Make it official, let's hand it to Carlos Kramer. All right, Brave Nation, what a way to start our historic Brave CF48 Arabian Night. This comes to an end at 43 seconds of the very first round. Your winner by TKO, Mohsin, golden boy, Mohammed Sayyifi. Wearing that Iranian flag, flag proudly. Such a stunning performance, barely broke a sweat. Phil, just, what's the, what is the potential of this man? You can see a beautiful inside leg kick to open up. Dia Umgalati trying just to bite his time, throwing lots of feints, trying to elicit the reaction from Moshin Mohamed Saifi. Quite tentative in the early stages here, Kirik. Just as I say that, spinning hook kick. Telegraph takedown from Dia Umgalati. As I said, made his professional debut in August 2022, getting rid of Bugesa Mustafa in just 17 seconds. Mohsen stalking very purposely. That was a real stiff jab just thrown out there. As I've alluded to, both these men are devastating world-class strikers. Golden Boy strategy, very clear to us now. He's going to stand in front of his opponent and try and take his head off. It's a very Muay Thai-esque stance, very light on the front leg. As we're trying to set up a takedown with a leg kick, very rare. Didn't quite come off for Daya Ungolati. Daya not the stronger fighter so far as multiple takedown attempts have been shut down cold. 
Oh, huge shot over the top. Seemed to land more on the gloves. But that's the dynamism of Mohsin Mohamed Saifi. Another stiff jab cutting through the guard. Since Mohamed Saifi seems to have found his range, seems to have found his timing. It's interesting, Phil. Golden Boy actually did not try to feint. He wasn't looking for distractions. He simply watched his opponent and appears at this point to have his number. Beautiful work with the knee, wasn't far away. Oh, big elbow over the top. Beautiful tie sweep. That job is paying dividends for Mohsin Mohamed Saifi. Oh, huge uppercut, Dia and Galati. And a little bit of trouble here. Golden Boy smelling blood, Phil. Again, just the speed that he's uncorking those shots, Kerrick. Again, he's not setting that takedown up at all. And another sweep takedown. These are huge shots. He dropped him. Down. Man down. Man down. Fight is over. Another first round finish for Mohsin Mohamed Saifi. Gets Daya Ungalati out of there. Unbelievable work. Brave Nation, that is why they call that man Golden Boy. Absolutely stunning performance. Took the measure of his man just visually. Walked him down, stalked him down, and kaboom! About took his head off. There you see the shots. Referee Arn Wallace on top of it. It was that huge shot, just evaded the guard. Gets through, lands perfectly on the temple. All right, from that moment, as soon as he hit the deck, couple of follow-up strikes, and it was all over. Phil, everybody in Brave Nation knows about takedowns from wrestling and mixed martial arts. It's a little bit less well understood that Muay Thai, too, has an exquisite takedown game. It's just different. For example, your foot cannot go behind your opponent's foot. It all has to be done from the front. But as we saw there, very sophisticated Muay Thai-based takedown game from Mohsen Mohamed Saifi. Mohsen Mohamed Saifi moves to 2-0 and oh as a pro. The Roaring Lion, Carlos Kramer, ascending into the Brave Arena, about to make it official. What a way to kick off Brave CF67 live from Combat Kingdom Bahrain. Brave Nation, Brave 67 is an attempt to show you the future, and you just saw it in Golden Boy. All right, Brave Nation, what a way to start our historic night at Brave CF 67. This first bout comes to a dramatic end at 2 minutes and 47 seconds of the very first round. Your winner by TKO to the strikes, Mohsen Golden Boy, Mohamed Saifri. And look at this stance. Both these fighters occupy straight away, light on their feet, bladed. Both these men capable of throwing out a spin and attack from a moment's notice. Brave Nation striking in mixed martial arts is very nearly always Dutch kickboxing or Dutch kickboxing based. This is a different animal. We saw a shot right behind the head. Huge uppercuts from Mohamed Saifi, but he needs to be wary of the uppercut and takes Ragdoll to the ground. Oh. Armbar in place. Out! Mohamed Saifi fighting like he has somewhere to be. Huge shots. Allows essentially Noir El Islam up. Not essentially Islam working his way to the top as being let up. 
Mohamed Sahifi as F, just letting his opponent know, yeah, I can do it all. Phil, right. we did not need any pushing around up against the fence to tell who is the stronger fighter here. You can already see marking up underneath the left eye of Islam. You always feel that Mohamed Saifi is just waiting for his moment to unleash something nasty. The likes of a big shot down the middle. Has a beautiful spinning back kick, it must be said. The golden boy definitely is poised. His body's curled. He just set it up with a low inside low kick. Oh! oh! Huge shot right behind the ear. Takes the equilibrium away. And right now, oh, Islam is in deep, deep trouble. Mohamed Saifi just needs to take his time, find the shots, takes the this back. This is the deepest blows, oh. and he's out and up, and boom, he may be down again. Oh, no, he's, he's out! He's out! He's out! Golden boy! One punch, knockout power from the five-time world championship. Sanda, gold medalist, gets it done inside the Brave Arena, and what firepower we have from Mohsin Golden Boy, Mohamed Saifi. There is a thing, Brave Nation, called the button. There's a few of them on the human body. If you press that button, the lights go out. There is one right behind the ear. Golden Boy landed a beautiful overhand right on it. The lights went out, and that was that. We have a world-class medical staff here. We've got two doctors attending to our fallen hero. He will fairly shortly be allowed to come up. There it's happening right there. At this point, unfortunately, he likely doesn't remember what happened. He almost certainly doesn't remember what happened. And now he does. The two fighters are embracing center stage. And that's the kind of sportsmanship that this sport is all about. Doctors, as I said, are world-class attentive. They're talking to the fighter, getting a sense of his equilibrium. They will shortly allow him to walk across the cage for the formal ceremony. But in the meantime, there is a huge amount of celebration on the part of the corner of Mohsen Golden Boy, Mohamed Saifi. Sponsor shirts on. Photo time. Great nation, the fighters are now proceeding to center cage. All right, Brave Nation, what another exciting bout we have for you at Brave CF 72, right here from Combat Kingdom. This fight comes to an end at one minute, 37 seconds of the very first round. Your winner, by knockout, Mohsen Golden Boy, Mohamed Saifi. Ready, referee is ready. Kirik, are you ready for what promises to be an incredible bite? Brave Nation, watch the distance management. If it stays at distance, it's all Golden Boy. If it stains at punching range, Forster could be in ascendance. Saifi trying to land that big shot early. Forster with a slight reach advantage. Oh, digs to the body. It's the repertoire of strikes from Mohamed Saifi. Mixes the hands, legs, knees beautifully, elbows as well. It'll be interesting to see what kind of approach Forster takes in the clinch here. Everything that Mohamed Saifi throws is with bad intentions. Beautiful elbow over the top. Phil Mohamed Saifi has nasty takedowns from that clinch, but he is clearly intent on ending this with his fists, elbows, knees, or feet. Just that's a different. There's no, there's no searching kind of shot. There's no setup with Mohamed Saifi. Even his jab is thrown 100%. 
Golden Boy is on a mission of destruction and destroy before our very eyes. Boom! Fast jab lands on the jaw, and you know when something works, you do it again, and then you follow it up, and there was the head kick that's been waiting, waiting, waiting. It's going to be coming again. With Mohamed Saifi being so super aggressive, the danger is that he walks onto a counter shot from Forster. But lands a big shot over the top. So far, Mohamed Saifi is perfect in Brave Combat Federation. Three wins. And he is trying to take the fight to David Forster right now. Forster may be a little bit wobbled. Touched his nose. You can see the marking up on the face. He's already taken some big, big shots. Forster checking his nose to see if it's bleeding. It's not yet, but he is taking some walloping shots to the melon. Of those three wins in Brave Combat Federation, every single one of them have come in the very first round, Kirk. It'll be interesting to see if Forster plays the game and tries to drag Mohamed Saifi into the deeper waters of the second and third round. Phil Golden Boy's ability to close the distance is a thing of art. He does it with incredible speed. Watch the when he decides to move in behind a shot. His entire center mass goes boop, boop from A to B. Just like that. Trying to land a big rolling thunder shot over the top. Foster doing a good job of remaining calm. Trying to absorb that early onslaught from Mohamed Saifi. Forster's got that, that right hand. Cock loaded and ready. But he does not have the edge in speed. Mohamed Saifi edging ever closer with these big overhands. It's more the forearm that's landing as opposed to a clean gloved fist. Watch Forster's body mass when he moves forward. Watch the speed of it. And then watch Golden Boy's body mass when he moves forward. They're at different levels. Still a lot of time with which to work for both fighters. Forster using the job well. Very well. Now what he needs to do, it's landing. He's got to follow it up. Hasn't checked a kick yet. Oh, that's really starting to take its toll. It'll be interesting to see if Forster switch stances at some stage. Mohamed Saifi doing a good job of landing the leg kick and then going upstairs. What we're seeing here is kicks to the thigh and Phil down to the calf. Calf kick represents the evolution of kicking in mixed martial arts. Causes nerve damage, swelling, and at some point the ankle joint no longer works, foot starts to drop. A nice little shot on the inside from Forster. Forster showing tremendous heart and landing some clean shots of his own, but he's getting chewed up across time. Forster starting to do a little bit more combination work. Everything is starting off with the jab. I'd like to see him. I'd like to see him throw that straight down the middle after popping the jab. That's a little bit better from Forster using those long arms, trying to keep Mohamed Saifi at the end of them. Not a lot of time left in the round. Neither fighter really taking a backward step. Both have landed some big shots. I think the greater intensity, the greater power is definitely coming from Mohamed Saifi. Whoa, the speed of that spinning hammer fist was something to behold. Oh, a little bit of a sneaky late shot there. Any question in your mind whatsoever, Irish Thunder? Was that a 10-9 round, round for Moshin, Golden Boy, Mohamed Saifi? I would be inclined to say yes. Let's look at some of the action here. And as we say, the, the shots landed with the greater intent, causing the greater damage have been landed by Moshin Mohamed Saifi. Let's just look at the face of David Forster. He's wearing the fight considerably more than Moshin Mohamed Saifi. However, I do believe that the longer the fight continues, the more it may sway in the favor of David Forster. What do you think? I think Forster is getting chewed up too badly. I think his face is getting chewed up. I think that calf is getting chewed up. I think three more calf kicks and his, his footwork is gonna be gone. And when the footwork's gone against an opponent at the level of Moshin Golden Boy, Mohamed Saifi, it's all over. David Forster had good luck with that. It wasn't luck. He had good skill with that jab. Jabs, of course, rarely end a fight, even in mixed martial arts where the gloves are much smaller than in boxing. 
He's got to follow it up. He's got to find a home for his straight right. If he does, he could turn it around. But right now, this fight is going in Golden Boy's directions. Big thanks to Betelko Alhaza, our telecommunications partner. Interesting, though, neither fighter has really attempted the takedown. You feel if someone is going to attempt to take down, it's the likely, the greater likelihood is that it will be Forster. Swing and a miss from Saifi twice. These big winging shots. Kerik, they take it out of the fight or two. If you're not landing with your big shots and their fresh air shots, they do take it out of you. Mohamed Saifi, a veteran of hundreds of combat sports bouts is not likely to tire. Forster doing a better job with the boxing now. Greater frequency with his shots. And he's covering up well with that Philly shell just as Mohamed Saifi comes in. He's done a great job landing that jab. If he can start to follow it up, he could turn the tide. Now he's elicited the pat-down reaction, defense of the jab from Mohamed Saifi. If he fakes the jab and changes that to a hook, he may have success. Saifi using multiple modes to defend himself, pairing with the hands, using his footwork as you saw right there, using his head movement. Snuck in a nice little jab right off the head movement. Don't know if you caught it there, but Saifi shook out his arm. I don't know if that's because his arms are maybe a little bit tired or if there's an impediment there, but he shook out the arm. Surprised Saifi is not going back to those legs. He's cut. Well, Saifi has a cut in the corner of his left eye. Forster's got a fairly wide stance, not wildly mobile stance. You have to respect the output from Forster. Just pop, pop, pop with the jab. Forster doing a tremendous job. Backing his opponent up now. Oh, take a little trip, take down attempt. Followed up with an elbow. Most of these high kicks from Mohamed Saifi have been landing on the arms of Forster. Still damaging, but he'd much rather get a clean shot on the chin. Beautiful jab landed by Forster. Hook kick, you don't see that very often in our sport. Both these guys have an over on there. Midway point of the second round and indeed the fight. Nice body shot from Forster, Phil. Forster settling into the second round a lot better. Phil, I don't know where Golden Boy's low kicks went, the calf kick and the thigh kick. They were landing to effect in round one. We have not seen a single one in this round two. This is the first time in his Brave Combat Federation career that he's gone to a second round. And you can do rounds at nauseam in the gym, but nothing replicates that feeling of actually being in the cage. I'd like to see Forrester get off with the right hand a little bit more. He's doing some great job point scoring with the jab, but if he's got a little bit more intentful with the right hand. That's not a bad shot either. Lancing shots from Mohamed Saifi, not necessarily scoring. Forster doing a terrific job of using his, his superior range, mm. his superior height, to keep his head out of great danger. So catching some glancing shots, but none of them are clean. Oh! Wobbled him, did Mohamed Saifi! Commentator's curse, that was clean. The most telling shot in the round, Saifi following up with huge ground and pound. Elbow coming, there it is. Just as we said, Forster was doing a much better job in the second round. Mohamed Saifi says, no, I'm not having any of that. Clips Forster. Good heavy hips from Mohamed Saifi. Forster wide, very good technique. Drives it to the fence. Has the opponent down. 30 seconds left to go in the second round. 
Carrick, depending on what happens in the next 20 seconds, is that shot enough to steal the round? Let's see if Forster can come out on top, land a couple of big elbows of his own. Now let's say he great job to get back to his feet. Forster has the hands connected. Very, very interesting round. Excellent second round for David Forster. Overcame a lot of adversity in round one, using his range, his height, to, I believe, take round two. Did you see it that way, Phil? Well, again, I think the most telling shot, the fighter who came closest to finishing the fight, was Moshe Mohamed Saifi when he dropped David Forster. But, again, this isn't boxing. A, a knockdown doesn't instantly mean you get a 10 year round. The greater work, the greater accumulation of work was done by Forrester, but the most telling blow was landed by Moshin Mohamed Saifi. Again, it'll be very interesting to see how the judges interpret this round. We're seeing some of the action there. Forrester has to be said, doing a great job working behind the jab. And there was the shot. And here comes the elbows. Boom, clean shot to the jaw. And in a fight like this where nothing is definitive, nothing has been decided yet, both fighters are going to want to get the finish. Great show of respect. Forster going right back to the jab. It served him so well in the second round. Forster feels like he can pull back. He can do what's called fading. Move the hips back just a little, head back a little bit more, and avoid his opponent's shots. He failed once and got dropped, and that is the downside of fading. Once you put your weight in the back foot, if you get hit, you tend to drop. I would say if he's trying to land that big shot over the top, but the one-two for Foster is coming at a strange angle. It's almost like a bent arm shot with the, the two. Phil Forster's doing a good job of keeping his torso forward. Most fighters have their head over their shoulders, over their hips. He's got his head in front of his hips. It allows him to strike at range and then pull back and avoid his opponent's shots. That's a good, solid, short shot from Mohamed Saifi. Fifty-fifty position, Forster disengages. So he's going to go right back to work with the jab. See what I mean about the straight coming or the the rear right hand coming at a slight bent arm trajectory instead of right down the middle. Beautiful takedown. Golden Boy does not feel like fighting on the ground. Not surprising when you consider just how cultured he is. The most decorated athlete in the history of Wushu Sanda. Oh, that's a beautiful leg kick. That's hurt him. Accidental eye poke. There was, I believe, an accidental eye poke. Hugely accidental. Brave Nation, the fighter who received the accidental eye poke has up to five minutes to recover. We are now well into round three, although it's not going to be the case. If the fighter was unable to continue, we'd go to the judges' scorecards, but that is absolutely not the case here. Uh, start back. Can we get rid of the replay, please? Thank you. Forster appears to be wobbled, but the head clears in five to ten seconds. Nice work to just take that lead leg out from under Forster. Again, working well behind the jab. He needs to start throwing combination work. Well, Saif is left finding a home now. As is Forster's. The whip with which Mohamed Saif he throws that leg kick. No tail on it whatsoever. Thrown with devastating power. Chewing up the lead leg of Forster. I wouldn't be surprised if we see him go high with a kick. I wouldn't be surprised if we see him go low. I want to see a right outside calf kick. The 
joy of this fight has taken place in the boxing realm, which you would have thought would have favored Forster. It may be favoring Forster right now, Phil. The corner of Forster calling their fighter on, but it's always, always dangerous as Mohamed Saifi. Nice pinpoint knee from Moshin. Such an intricate dynamic to this fight, Kirik. The leg kicks in this round from Moshi Mohamed Saifi have been fantastic. Forster is going to feel that tomorrow. Phil, I'm feeling it from here. Those are nasty. The liver kick attempt. And I don't think anybody would have expected the fight to go this long. They're showing just how well matched these fighters are. Great job again by matchmaker Sam Brett. Emma hasten to add, Mohammed Shahid. The CEO is involved in every aspect of this fight, including the brilliant matchmaker. Good stiff job again from Forster. But you can see he's bloodied up, he's bruised. If we're talking purely on aesthetic, the greater damage has been landed by Moshin Mohamed Saifi. Red Nation, we are down to 30 seconds, and I do believe if either fighter does something massive in the closing seconds of this round, they could take it. You'd love to get the numbers for how many jabs have been thrown by Forrester. I'd be pretty confident in saying that breaks some kind of brave record. 10 seconds now. Who can land something really definitive? Bite down on the gum shield, gentlemen. Let's go. Still all to play for. Wow. Kirik, how do you start to even break down that third round? Phil, I've always said judging is one of the most thankless, if not the most thankless task in this entire sport. No fighter ever said, oh, I won because of the judges. Everybody who loses thinks they lost because of the judges. They are going to really earn their money tonight. This was an incredibly close fight. I could see it going over well. Either way, I know who I like by just a little bit. How about you? I have a feeling that you're swayed towards Moshin Mohamed Saifi. Would I be correct in saying that? Just a little bit. Mm. And when I say just a little bit, I'm not being facetious. I mean just a little bit. I'll be honest with you, Kerry. Sometimes I don't agree with you, but in this particular instance, I am 100% in agreement with you. I believe the... The greater frequency of shots were landed by Forrester. However, the more definitive damaging shots were landed by Moshe and Mohamed Saifi. Therefore, once again, it comes down to who hurt who more. And having expressed my opinion, if the judges see it the other way, more power to them. This was a very close, very, very hard fought fight. There's going to be one winner, but the fans won this one. Terrific display of technique, of conditioning, of heart. Final scores have been tabulated across the Brave Arena. I can see the Roaring Lion is ascending the steps. That means we have a decision, and This must feel like an absolute lifetime for the fighters. Can Moshin continue his streak in Brave Combat Federation? There is only one way to find out. Carlos Kramer, make it official. All right, Brave Nation, after three incredible rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Your first two judges scored about 30-27, and your last judge scores about 29-28. Unanimous decision victory out of the red corner! Martin! Golden Boy! Mohamed Saifi! Well, there you have it, Kirik. Two of the judges did not see it as close as we saw it.